Patty Christensen hand syrup, P.S. Lady, Southern Edition, still. Um, so, you know, I'm getting everything set up here. You can tell I'm in, I'm in the, the trailer here in St. George. And it comes with two 30-pound um, propanes, okay? And a manual switchover. But big complaint here is there's no propane reader. So you have no idea. Is it full? Is it empty? No clue. I guess you just wait till it runs out and then switch it over. That sounds awful. Anyway, and I have no idea how much propane I use. I mean, I I don't turn on the AC in the day because it just seems wrong. Uh, and so it gets pretty warm in here. And then at night, you know, the heater will eventually, this is high, this is desert, right? So it's going to be 80 down to 40, whatever. Anyway, um, and so I set the heat and so I, and then my shower and, you know, it's insta hot water and then I use the dishwasher. So I don't even use hot water out of the sink. And so I just had no idea. So I call um, B&L Propane. They're the guys that come over here and say, okay, I'm new. When, tell me what, what do I do to get these tanks refilled? And she starts explaining, well, if you just want your tanks refilled, you basically have to take them off of your rig and put them out, you know, and then we'll come and fill them and then you have to put them back on. And it's, I forget what, like three bucks a gallon. I don't know what it was. And I said, hold up, I've got to take them off. I said, no, you don't understand. I'm, I'm hand disabled. I can't even take the black cover off, much less lift these 30 pound things and unhook them. I don't know how to do that. Shoot, this is how things get blown up, right? No. Uh, and so I was getting really upset. She said, now, the other option is, what, what is our actual, we're just doing that as a convenience. Our actual business is we bring out a big, huge tank. We sit it, we hook it up. We uh, come check it weekly. We refill it. And by the way, because it's in our big thing and everything works right, and we know that it's 50 cents a gallon cheaper. But there's like a $20 delivery fee and a... Um, $40 for the whole year for 12 months um, tank rental fee. So an extra 60 bucks, but they take care of everything. And I was like, yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. Now, do I need to be here? Cause I was going to go for a walk. When are you guys coming? And she's just like, so she understood I was hand handicapped and she understood I'd been running for a few days and she, she was actually worried for me. I, I think there was plenty in there because I mean, it's freaking 30 gallons, two of them. But anyway, so um, she says, no, no, no. If we're doing our actual business model, we take care of everything. White glove. You don't have to do anything. And so I said, heck yeah. So I go out for a walk and I come back and the guy was already here setting everything up. I was like, dude, how, what? So fast, faster than, than if I'd had them do the refill and been on their schedule. And he said, well, actually somebody, um, we had this tank on this truck for them and they didn't sign the little agreement, which she had sent over to me. It's a one pager that just says things like, I promise I'll pay. It was the lowest key thing. And I'm over here going, now, do you want a credit card on file? Do you want my bank account? Do you want Venmo? What do you want? She goes, no, 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 no. We just send out bills monthly. Okay, sure thing. And the guy was super nice, had it all set up, you know, kind of explained everything to me. I had brought down some salsa, so I gave him a salsa. He'll come back April and pick it up for the year because this is going to get put away. But, you know, it's actually good for the for the whole year. So I don't have anything to worry about. I don't have to worry about going over there and flipping switches, gas running out, getting air on the line, whatever. I don't have to worry about anything. And since it's 50 cents a gallon cheaper to do their way, I think, I don't know how much I'm going to use, but I could easily, you know, come out ahead, right? I could easily come out ahead doing this approach. And now I'm on these guys, you know, list. I'll, I'll use them every year. I'll just have them scheduled to come out next year once the thing gets gets dropped into spot. So it's wonderful. I'll go out and take a little video. I won't do any voice or anything just because I can see that there's people next door to me. 
so I don't want to be, you know, a weirdo, but I'll, I'll add a quick little video so that you can see what it's like.